Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to teach you controlling fertility. Okay, what is fertility? If a woman is said to be highly fertile, that means she's producing a lot of egg and she can become conceived. And if a woman is said to be infertile, then that means she's not producing egg and she cannot be conceived. So, infertile means cannot be conceived. Fertility of a woman can be controlled using four hormones, and these are FSH, LH, estrogen, and progesterone. They can be used to either increase fertility or decrease fertility. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a table comparing one side how to increase fertility and on the other side I'm going to describe how fertility is decreased. In this side, I'm going to talk about how fertility is decreased using hormones. Now the pills taken to decrease fertility is called contraceptive pills. Since two hormones are taken in this pill, the pill is called combined oral contraceptive pill. This pill called combined oral contraceptive pills have two hormones and these two hormones are estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen stops the production of FSH and we know that FSH is involved in the development of the egg so if there is no FSH egg doesn't get developed so it cannot be fertilized so the woman cannot be conceived so this is how estrogen stop a woman to become pregnant whereas the progesterone it causes the mucus in the cervix to become thick. Progesterone stimulates the production of thick cervical mucus. So if the mucus in the cervix is very thick, the sperm will not swim through the thick mucus and so will not reach the egg. So therefore it will not be fertilized. So this is how estrogen and progesterone decreases fertility. Let's take a look at the disadvantage of contraceptive pills. Now these pills are not 100% effective. So there's still a chance for this woman to become pregnant. And these combined oral contraceptive pills have many side effects. Example of the side effects are headache, nausea, and blood clotting. Obviously you heard the word blood clotting happening in platelets when there is a cut, but this happened internally in the blood vessel, which is bad. Okay, so these are the disadvantage of using contraceptive pills. Let's take a look at increasing fertility. Now the two hormones which is used to increase the fertility are FSH and LH. FSH causes egg development. LH causes ovulation. So women who wants to increase their fertility or they want to become pregnant these two hormones are injected into them, which is FSH and LH. This is the first method. And if this first method doesn't work out, then IVF is done. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. In vitro means outside the cell. So fertilization is done not in the body, but outside the human body.
So if it's not done in the body, where is it done? The sperm and egg is fertilized in a test tube. Let me show you this with a diagram. So I have a test tube. The sperm is taken from the man. And the egg is obtained from the woman. The sperm and egg is placed in a test tube which undergo fertilization. So this fertilized egg is formed into an embryo. This embryo is then taken and is implanted back into the woman's uterus. And since the fertilization doesn't happen inside the body but in a test tube, and that's the reason why it's called in vitro fertilization. In vitro mean outside the human body. Okay, let's take a look at the disadvantage. first problem when it comes to increasing fertility is that it doesn't always work in the first round so it has to be repeated since the process has to be repeated the overall process becomes expensive so which is costly to the NHS the third problem with increasing fertility is that Hormones has to be taken inside the body, and this is not a natural process, so there is many hormonal side effects. These side effects are vomiting, dehydration, stomach pain, and it is also believed taking these hormones increase the risk of certain type of cancer. And the last disadvantage is that it causes multiple egg to be released. So it causes multiple pregnancy. Such as having twins or triplets. So this section talks about decreasing fertility and this section talks about increasing fertility. Thank you for watching. If you find it helpful, please like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in my next video.